Welcome everyone to this video. Today we will be testing the premium version of Malwarebytes. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 460 samples in total. And we will be using this list to test how well Malwarebytes Premium does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable all of the premium protection. We'll let Malwarebytes sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining after that scan, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any remaining after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. We will first make sure that Malwarebytes is up to date and we are good to go. And at this point, we'll go ahead and enable everything. And we are now fully protected, so we'll let it sit for just a few minutes and see if it detects anything. It's been a few minutes. Let's double check our samples folder and we are still sitting at 460. So at this point, let's go ahead and initiate a scan and we will let this run until it's fully completed. The scan has completed, found 447. We'll go ahead and quarantine all of these. Malwarebytes is requesting a restart, so we'll go ahead and click on yes. After restart, let's take a look at our samples folder and... It looks like we have 20 samples remaining, and so at this point, let's go ahead and scan the samples folder directly. And it looks like that came back positive, so we'll go ahead and quarantine this one. After that, we should have 19 remaining, and we do, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and execute the remaining samples. After execution, we've dropped to 18 samples, so at this point we'll go ahead and restart and run a second opinion scan. I did, after that most recent restart, run another scan with Malwarebytes, just because historically speaking, Malwarebytes is better at removing infections after the fact. And it did find one, and so we're going to go ahead and quarantine. I ran a scan with MZSoft, and it came back positive with six, so we'll just go ahead and delete all six of these. And it looks like Windows Defender is also popping up with notifications due to infections that it's found. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Start Actions. Windows Defender did pop up multiple times. And out of the 18 that Malwarebytes missed, it looks like Windows Defender may have grabbed and removed a couple of those at least. At this point, we are down to just two samples. And this is the first sample uploaded to VirusTotal. And this is the second sample uploaded to VirusTotal. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. Malwarebytes very well may perform differently in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that thanks button, the join button, the subscribe button, or even that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.